Hello and welcome to Draw Plus. We'll be looking at the Rostrum Camera feature in this video, which enables you to create slide based presentations by placing slides over content in your Draw Plus drawing. To see this in action, we'll turn a print design into a digital presentation. From the Startup Assistant, under the Samples menu, we'll look at the Print Design category and choose the Dinosaur Sample. This type of infographic is ideal for turning into a slide-based presentation. We'll go ahead and choose the Rostrum Camera tool on the Drawing Toolbar. The first slide will be inserted into the middle of the document, which will have an exact aspect ratio of either 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. The ratio can be changed on the Context Toolbar. We can then drag resize this slide to maintain the aspect ratio. This is useful if you are designing your content to fit perfectly into the slides. We can then add more slides by click dragging the Add Slide icon. We will want to drag out each new slide to a blank space, otherwise it may try to match the grouped object's dimensions. We can also rotate the slide to better match the curve of the text. Rotations are also animated as part of the slide transition. Once each slide has been connected, we can preview the presentation by going to File and Preview in Flash Player. We can animate to the next slide by clicking the Play Animation button. Let's look at some more advanced options now, using a simple slide setup consisting of rectangle boxes, chevrons, and text objects. We'll turn our attention to the Slides tab, an option that appears when we have any slide selected. We can expand the tab by clicking on the arrow, and see that we can select each slide individually. Furthermore, we can open up a settings dialog for each slide, and configure the timing, transitions, and layer handling. We can modify our hold time options for each slide, and change wait for key to wait for time, which means we can set a time in seconds the slide will be displayed for before transitioning to the next slide. Note that the wait for key option is only applicable for flash presentations. If you export a video, this option will be changed to wait for time. The transition time we can set to automatic rather than manual, and Draw Plus will calculate the time it takes to transition between slides based on distance. If we want control over how the transition is animated, we can specify it with the transition option. Pan will only allow the camera to move between the slides. Conversely, zoom will only allow the camera to zoom in and out between slides. Setting auto will allow Draw Plus to determine which is more appropriate. In some cases, it will use both. Finally, layer handling allows us to have objects or text appear on the slide one after another, rather than all at once. This requires some knowledge of the Layers tab, so we'll look at this now. As you can see, we've split our objects into two different layers, Non-Reveal and Reveal. Because the Reveal layer is the topmost, Draw Plus will gradually animate in objects from that layer when they are placed within a slide. For example, our text objects are all placed in the Reveal layer. We can access the Slides tab and bring up the Slides property dialog box, then set Layer Handling to Progressive Reveal. We'll also check Fade Transitions, which will fade the revealed content in. This can be done to each of the slides in turn. If we now preview our presentation, we can see what effect Progressive Reveal has. If we set layer handling to sequence, this functions in a similar manner to Progressive Reveal, except objects on the previous layer are made transparent. This is useful for visual impact, or for giving greater focus to parts of the presentation. Let's go one step further and add another layer, 
calling this one Reveal2. We'll then drag the text objects into this layer, and then drag the chevron quick shapes into the previous Reveal layer. What this will do is add two layers to progressively reveal, so we will see the chevron first, then the text. We can preview this presentation once again and see our result in practice. Finally, we'll want to export our presentation. From the File Export Flyout, we can choose to export as a flash file, or we can also export as a video. The Picture and CAD CAM export options only export as still images. If we export a video, we'll be presented with a few more options. For this example, let's choose Windows Media, Audio and Video, and go for PAL HD Widescreen 1080p. We'll choose a suitable file name and click Export. Once the presentation has finished exporting, we can click the Open button, and it will play in the default video player. At this point, you can share your video with others through video streaming sites, publish it to DVD, or import it into editing software to use as part of a video project. That's all for this tutorial. Rostrum slides are a great way to show off pre designed infographics and artwork, but you can also create content from scratch with the slides already placed on the document if you wish. For more information, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.